Okay, so I have a problem with this Galaxy Note 4, and pretty much that problem is that it's stuck on an endless boot loop, meaning it won't get out of the screen, it won't turn on the phone or nothing, it's just stuck on here. And I honestly don't know what happened, it's just like, it's random, I don't get it, you know, it's just some things that's just wrong with Samsung sometimes, and just other phones in general. I don't know, it's weird, we're not gonna just sit here and complain all day, we're gonna actually fix this. So, you know, me being me and the whole tech guy, I actually know a solution. And even though the Note 8 is out and everything like that, you know, this is still a good phone and people still use it so i'm going to show you how you can do this so this is how you can fix the boot loop problem on your galaxy note 4. so before we get started i know this is kind of like a no-brainer but i got put out here anyways just try to make sure you take out the battery, put it back in, and try to turn on the phone. And if that doesn't work, just go ahead and do what we're doing right now. So you're probably asking though, why can't I just reset it from the Android recovery? That's because it only resets your settings and your data. And what I'm going to do is that it clears the whole system. So it deletes Android and reinstalls it on there and everything is just gone. So hopefully this should clear the issue. I wouldn't really see why it wouldn't, but yeah. So that's how we're going to do it. So you are going to need a computer to do this. Pretty much everybody has a computer. If you don't, just use your your friends or something like that and then you could just you know give it back to them when you're done but yeah the process is pretty simple i'm gonna go ahead and go over to my computer and i'm gonna show you how you can do this all right so first things first what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to take off the back cover on your phone just like this pretty cool right so now that that's done even if your phone is off just go ahead and take out the battery and you gotta look for your serial number so in my particular case i don't have a serial number because this is a refurbished phone so I don't have anything. All I got is my IOMEI number and I can't really do much with that. So if you are in a boat like this, you're going to have to go to sammobile.com slash firmwares. But if you're not in the same boat as me, go ahead and go to samsung.com slash smart switch. And then you'll be brought to this screen. So you don't really see any downloads on here until you scroll down all the way down here and you got to look for a link. So this is it. So just go down to here and it says download for PC or Mac. Go ahead and click that. And then you see we have three options here. So get the Android app, download for Mac and download for PC. What you got to do from there is you're going to have to go ahead and open the app. And after the app's open, you're going to go to more and then you're going to go to the first option. Click the other tab and you're going to enter your information. Now, your model number should be in the back of here, so look for that. So on my phone, it shows the model number first, so it says SM-N910VBOK32GB. But all I'm going to enter is SM-N910V into here, except I'm not because I don't have the serial number right here. So after you do enter it in here, go ahead and hit search and then that's where you're going to have to type your serial number. Then click OK, go through the whole process and it should do your phone for you but i can't do that so i'm gonna have to go ahead and go to sam mobile's website but you're still gonna need your model number so i'm gonna go ahead and go into here and i'm gonna look up my model number and after some typing go ahead and click the first option and go ahead and click the search button and after some loading you should see some options out here you should go ahead and click the first one you need the latest version otherwise it might mess up on you so after doing anything you gotta make an account so what you gotta do is you gotta go up here to the top and make an account. Without an account, you can't really do anything. So after you're done with that, go ahead and scroll down here, go ahead and hit regular download. But if you're a premium user, go ahead and hit fast download, but go ahead and scroll down again, hit download, and you're gonna wait for this. So it's showing this advertisement here, but it says, please wait, it'll be showing like 23 seconds. So just go ahead and wait for that. So after you're done with all that, you go ahead and click the download button and it showed this window for me because I have a downloader. So what this is, is that Chrome really, your downloads are usually slower when you're downloading stuff so i have this on here it's more reliable and stuff like that but it doesn't like change sam mobile's throttling so i'm going to go ahead and click the download button and then it should start so after you're done waiting go ahead and click the download button it should show a download here i'm gonna ignore this because i have a downloader app on here but go ahead and click download and it should show in chrome in a second go ahead and choose where you want to download it to and it should start now i do have to say something here sam mobile does throttle your download speed so it is going to be kind of slow but it will get there so just be patient it will download eventually and you should be good to go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this amazing ability that people have when recording videos is skipping until when it's done so i'm gonna fast forward until the time when this is done so let's do that bang flash forward it through the future so now it is 9 38 it's actually the morning the next day so the file downloaded on here so i'm gonna go ahead and click that and then you have to extract this so go to extract to i'm gonna go ahead and click ok and then it should start extracting uh this shouldn't show for you but just wait for that but while 
all that's going, I'm going to go to my website, which I'm already here. Slowtrilljennings.weebly.com. I'll leave a link down below. But it'll go to this page, and then you'll see this Get Odin for Windows button. So go ahead and click that, and then you got to click Download, or just however it shows up. So click Open, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit Extract to. OK, and then that should be good, too. Again, you shouldn't see all this. I already download all this stuff. And then while you wait for that, you can go ahead and open Odin. So I'm going to go to my Downloads, because that's where it should be, and look for the Odin 3 underscore 3. 3.10.7 go to here and then open the app and then you should see on here go to AP and then look for that file you just extracted so on my screen it looks like this so n910v you know all the other stuff so go ahead and click it and then it should start you know we're getting ready and then while I was doing that you should have your phone off you should take out the battery and everything by now and then you're gonna hold on to the volume down the home and the power button at the same time after you do that you should get a screen like this I'm gonna hit volume up to start the process and then you gotta plug this into the computer at this point so now now it's plugged into the computer you should hear a sound if you have all the drivers ready and everything like that that should be cool otherwise it's gonna install for you so if you have the drivers already like me you should be ready to go but if you don't windows will already install it for you and it should pop up in this box right here but that's frozen right now don't worry about that it's just getting ready everything and then there you go so after that go ahead and click start and then you should be good to go and then it should start up for you and get ready so now at this point it's like reflashing everything and it's getting your phone ready so it can fix it and everything like that so it can use it again so i'm gonna fast forward through time again just like you can when you're always recording a video so let's go all right so at this point it's pretty much done if you look here it's well yeah it's at the end of the list right now so yeah too cool it just finished up it says pass and everything like that so your phone should be doing this it should be going into the recovery and they should see this screen so it's about done right now so pretty much at this point you don't need your computer anymore so you can close out everything like that because you're done but what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go ahead and plug this phone here and i am going to just wait for this but what you're gonna need to do after this is you're gonna need to hold on to the volume up the home button and the power button actually you gotta take out the battery first so take out the battery hold on to the volume up button hold on to the power button and hold on to the home button all right so it's going into the recovery right now you can see at the top of the screen actually it's blurry right now so you can't really see but you should see on your end and then wait for this it's gonna get the recovery ready for you so you can use it okay cool so now we're on a screen where we can reset our phone just to make sure everything's good so go scroll down here by pressing the volume down button and press the power button to select factory data reset go ahead and click yes and then just wait for it to reset and then now it's done so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on to the power button and now you are done so finally you can close everything out here again like I just said but, but pretty much at this point you could go ahead and plug in your phone whatever you need to do because at this point you just need to wait for it to turn on and you're good to go so pretty much at this point your phone just needs to restart and you know get everything ready so the boot is going to take a little bit but it will turn on hopefully if it takes more than 30 minutes try to do this again but it should be ready to go so after that you can go ahead and reset your phone you should be good to go and then you should have a working phone again so Hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.